white guys. So all glories to Amrita and Dhanvantari, the supreme divine healers. We are looking at the one meal a day um, raw vegan keto meal plan. Um, this is uh, designed for those who actually want to gain weight, meaning there is a excess of calories here. 3,260 calories in one meal. It's pretty tough. Um, but if I can do it, then, you know, stronger, bigger people can do it. Or if you're smaller, then you can do a little bit less. You can adjust, you know, for example, you can take out, um, let's say, 10 or 20% of every um, ingredient and adjust this way. So <clears throat> starting here with, um, it's actually two course meal. Um, it's starting with the salty um, part and then comes the more sweet part of it. Um, so we have here different vegetables, sauerkraut, mushrooms, cucumber, lettuce, you know, um, I personally just have one type of vegetable a day, but I put them all here with small amounts. Um, so something between 50 and 100 uh, gram, I would say. It's not much, but um, something is better than nothing, right? So if you really want to gain weight and you want to have a lot of calories, you cannot also put um, too many vegetables, which would dilute and, uh, you know, just increase the quantity so stomach will be too full. And we have 50 gram of olives and 50 gram of olive oil. Um, actually, um, as I said up here, 50 gram olives is 60 gram avocado and 50 gram olive oil is 250, 65 gram avocado. So if possible, I would go for the 200 50 gram or whatever, like one big avocado instead of the olive oil. But um, you can't eat too many olives either. Um, they're just too intense in the taste and the energy and whatever. So, um, yeah, ideally it would be 50 gram of olives and 250 gram of avocado, roughly, right? Some ginger. Yeah, and that makes the first meal. And here there are all kinds of um, notes on how to soak stuff and so on. I was having chia in it and psyllium in the case that, you know, the intestinal, the bowel movements are not so regular, but uh, I don't see much benefit from it, so I took them out. So then I have the apple Granny Smith here. It's um, basically, it's... Um, a substitute. So one day I may do the granny apple, one day I may do the mixed berries here, 100 gram. Um, 100 gram of a not very sweet type of fruit. Um, water, maybe some uh, unsweetened uh, hibiscus tea or similar. Uh, juice of one lemon or the lemon, if you want to peel it, you can chuck it in whole. Then the berries. Um, then we come to the protein mix, um, 10 gram chlorella spirulina mix, hemp seed protein powder, 20 gram, um, a little bit of ashwagandha for the nerves and things like this, turmeric, black pepper, ginger, um, a tiny bit of stevia. And then we come again to the, to the fats and proteins. Um, so I have this brand here, Google Raw Sprouted Sunflower Seeds with Sea Salt, but obviously I um, make my own little germs, my own little sunflower germs. Um, just soak them overnight and, you know, uh, let them just germinate a little bit. So 12 to 16 hours, maybe 24 hours, you know, whatever is enough. Um so I calculate with 100 grams of dried sunflower. And then, you know, uh, once they are soaked, they're about 150. But since they, these are, again, dried, 
So it, it should be roughly the same as the dry one. So it's, it's all just estimates, right? 50 gram coconut oil and 50 gram shredded coconut and 50 gram tahini. Um, okay, we have the stevia leaf powder again. Uh, previously, I had them separate. So I'll delete one of them and make it maybe half a gram. All right. Then, so this is will we'll all be blended up to the tahini. And uh, oh, yeah, obviously also the cinnamon is important for the um, many things for the liver and also um, for the blood sugar to keep the blood sugar low and stuff. Then it's all blended up to tahini and also the almonds, they should be soaked all the nuts, all right? Um, <clears throat> the cacao beans, I don't soak them. But I actually put them in the in the mix um, at the very end of the blending, so that they are just roughly chopped up um, after the tahini. And yeah, sometimes I throw in some of the almonds as well, and part of I keep for the you know with the walnuts and the Brazil nuts. Uh, this is basically just like two Brazil nuts, eight grams, and um, yeah, fifty gram of eighty five percent chocolate with with no added sugars um still sweet enough in my opinion um and um i may have a little bit of you know uh, sparkling water um with it at the end or or some of the tea you know some of the throat tea or herbal tea but i think you know for the taste you know to have the nuts in the end with the chocolate and some you know hibiscus tea or something like this goes pretty well. Yeah, so that's basically the whole thing. And the only thing that changes is sometimes the vegetable change, sometimes it's olive oil, sometimes it's avocado, and also the fruit, you know. Some days it's a berry, sometimes it's some other not too sweet fruit, you know, just around 100 grams. Then we have uh, some things to chew after the meal. Um, actually, this comes with the drink, the kelp powder. We have the Himalayan salt, which I sometimes take with the juice, but I also put it in the drink. So celery leaves fresh or dandelion greens. These are just options. You know, there is also um, savory, I think. No, no, what's it called? Anyway. There are some other of these leaves also like um, parsley and, you know, so you can choose then rosemary, oregano, uh, black seed, nigella. Yeah. So these are good chews for digestion and for health and so on. And then comes the drink uh, around like one, one and a half hours after the meal when I get thirsty. I have here 900 grams of distilled water, but... Obviously, I don't drink 900 grams of that distilled water in one go. And I also mix some spring water, sometimes <clears throat> some distilled water. Mainly, I use the distilled water if I make tea and and uh, inside the meals and so on. But if I make a drink, I usually um, take um, spring water. So I need to update that here. Um, kelp powder, black salt, vitamin D12, K2. Mainly I do that just in the winter. So black salt, um, it ha it's also Himalayan salt, but it has a higher iron and sulfur content. So that's also good stuff necessary. Oh yeah, here is the, the mineral water. This is also especially a recommendable brand because it contains a lot of silica, okay? Mm, otherwise, of course, there is some plants like horse tail um, that can be taken for silica, make a horse tail tea, for example. Yeah, sometimes I also take some of the Celtic sea salt just to mix it up and get the best of all the different um, mineral contents in the different salts. But actually I prefer the, the rock salts because they are maybe less polluted. Neem, very good against parasites, keeping the blood clean and helping the liver and so on. 
rosehip powder. Also, actually, I take amla powder. I'm not sure if it's here. Brahmi bacopa, which is very good for the brain, for the oxy uh, oxygenation. Uh, I don't know how you say in English. You know, to 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 get take up more oxygen in the body. It's a very good brand for that. Sumacum is um yeah, it, it's a spice that I sometimes use, but it's uh, it's slightly sourish and has also sodium and other. It's a good antioxidant. Then look it up. Shilajit, which is a organic trace minerals compound. If you don't know, I recommend checking it out. Um, aloe vera. I have a mix um, with diff with all these different things. And then down here, I just have these um, things again. Can delete this. And um, this sometimes I look at these things for comparison. What what um, percentages they have and so on. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you are most welcome. And yeah, I recommend you try this out. It's a pretty, um, how to say, everything is in there. You see, I have 78 gram of protein, um, which should be enough. Um, if you consider that one gram of protein per body weight, lean body mass should be uh, sufficient. Net carbs uh, around between 50 and 60 should be good enough to keep me in ketosis and um, yeah, 284 gram of fat. So you see, this is my custom percentages, of course. Um, and yeah, you know, the among the all targets, it's saying 76%, but partially that's because not all the foods contain all the things that they have, you know, the, the, the nutritional data is not always complete. Um, vitamin C, it's saying it's a bit low, um, but I also take AMLA and, and some other things. So I, I don't think that's the truth. Um, calcium, I would have to see. Potassium, yeah. Starch, we don't want any starch. So it's no problem, it's low. And what's interesting is obviously to look um, You know, vitamin B12, B1 would be important. Um, it looks pretty good here. Um, lipids, you have to check the ratio of the poly. Um, it says it's pretty low in, in uh, omega-3. Um, there are the walnuts, but of course, they can't make up for it. So I would actually recommend um, taking some DHA from algae. That's the easiest way to, to bring that level up. Um, saturated is 107 compared to monounsaturated 75, which is pretty good. And polyunsaturated 35 is also pretty good, even though obviously the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 isn't exactly as it should be, but you have to consider that a lot of um, the nutritional data is incomplete. So for example, the the sunflower seeds, um, they have a pretty shifted ratio after the sprouting from uh, the omega-6 goes down and the omega-3 goes up. I can't tell you exactly, but copper is high. Let's see where the copper comes from. That's good. It doesn't say where it comes from here, unfortunately. What other sources? Oh, yeah, here maybe. Let's see again. Sunflower seeds have a lot of copper, right? Tahini has a good amount. Almonds, the seed protein, hemp protein, and the coconut. Yeah. Iodine from the kelp, important for the body's uh, handling of radiation. You see all the minerals are pretty high. Uh, again, uh, only potassium and calcium a little bit low. I will look into it, but uh, maybe also because of some lacking nutritional data as mentioned before. 
lysine is a little bit low. Other than that, I think all the targets are met. Well, yeah, if you have any questions, you're welcome. And try it out and let me know how that works for you.